Welcome to another video on the REST test channel. In this video, we're going to see a link between Cypress and this image right here. For those of you who already know who this is, but for you, who, who, those who do not, this is Invoker. So what is actually the link? What use case uh, can link these two together? Well, I'm going to show you only one use case in this video to make it short and to the point. But we're going to see more if you subscribe to the channel, comment, and if this video gets like, I don't know, 50 likes. This is a education channel, so uh, 50 likes is more than enough. Okay, so we have a really simple, in theory at least, really simple use case. We need to open this page and then click here and then um, check that new window is written on this page right here. So how would we do this with Cypress? Well, I have the code at least to visit the page. Now let's just start this page or start this test and see what happens. See what we can do on our own. So we have here the page open, perfect. Now, if we want to click on this uh, and do not want to navigate the page elsewhere, Cypress has a really nice way to get this. Okay, so we can just copy this to the clipboard, go back to our test, paste, and we get that, and we just do a, whoops, a click. And then we should, if we run it again, So we have the new page open. Now, our problem right now is um, Cypress is here and we want to be here. Now we can do the following, of course, we can copy this URL in our test and then do our assertion, which would be really simple. Or, okay, let me just remove this, go back to our test, rerun it. So we'll be on the new window right now. Again, with the help of Cypress, because uh, I'm a little bit lazy right now, I would just get each, this age free and then check that it has a text new window. So that would just be get age free, then it should uh, have the text, we should, oops should have um, text and the text would be new window and if we run this this should pass if we did everything correctly and it passes now we want something in between we actually want a correct test what do i mean by a correct test well i want to open the previous page and then simulate me clicking on um, the uh, click me link and opening actually the page in the same window and how can we do that well that's where the invoke comes in so this was our test before we visited the page then we got the element and we clicked it and if we want to perform actions on this uh, link, we can use, or the action that we want, we can use the invoke. Now, really important part right here, you can do a lot with invoke. This is only to, let's say, stimulate your appetite for this uh, Cypress function. So with invoke, in our case, what we will do is we will actually remove an attribute and our attribute will be the target attribute and if we remove the target so let's see what happens so we should see that we go on the initial page then we click the page and as you can see we can now in Cypress so it didn't open a new window for us it has the same window, we can uh, we can be here, we can be active here, and we just need to add the previous code with the um, have text. So 
let's do something like this and if we run the test right now our test should pass there you have it this was cypress and invoke not invoker but still invoke and how these two are connected as always do not forget to rest and then test thank you for watching the video and i will see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye